planting a lovely snapdragon. First, I'll take a pot and I'll place a little dirt in the bottom, uh, about the height of a caterpillar. Next, I'll take the plant. Alice, you forgot the most important step. You must name the plant first. <laughs> I suppose. Any thoughts? Oh, let's see. I would name the plant Marianne. Marianne doesn't seem to suit a snapdragon. Uh, let's not be silly. <laughs> Snapdragons don't wear suits. <laughs> oh, I know. Let's name it Paul Bill. Anyway, we place the plant in the pot and cover with a bit more soil. But I'm not finished yet. I must water my plants with a few cups of water. Water? My dear, poor Bill needs tea, of course. <laughs> Ooh, how do they like it? Sugar or just cream? Um, Mr. Hatter, I really do think poor Bill needs water. Fine. Not my poor Bill. <laughs> you can learn a lot of things from the flowers. Oh, quite right. The other day, I had a chrysanthemum tell me the entire story of the walrus and the carpenter. <gasps> Would you like to hear it? Actually, Mr. Hatter, we must be answering some gardening questions. <laughs> Quite right indeed. I'll start. You know, Alice, sometimes my plants turn a berry blue or even a burnt orange, but the most common color they can turn is a slightly canary yellow. <laughs> what do you think the problem could be? Oh dear. It could be a matter of too much light or it's getting too hot in its current location. I sometimes go this way by placing it a little ways away from the window, or sometimes I go that way and put it in a new place entirely. Usually a spot that doesn't get as much constant sun. I see. Now, the other day, the dodo bird told me that his cat will not leave his plants alone. <laughs> what to do, what to do? That is quite common with my cat, Dinah. I simply place the plant high in a bookshelf near a window. That is... Unless it's a Cheshire cat. In which case, I don't know what to say. He seems to appear and disappear and then reappear wherever he pleases. Someone once told me that talking to your plants could be quite helpful. Mr. Hatter, you're quite good at conversations during our tea time. Maybe you have some suggestions. Well, you could always ask about their favorite Tweedle. Or it's a Cheshire cat, pink with purple stripes. A birth of ice. Did you hear about the daffodils and the dandelion? <gasps> Favorite condiment, butter or mustard? But the best conversation of all, is my hat too big? Why, thank you, Mr. Hatter. Well, things didn't go quite as planned today, but that sometimes happens when the mad hat is around. So long for now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Hatter. <laughs>